Welcome. In this episode, we are going to look at integration of trigonometry functions where the powers are even. So in the form integral of cos n ax multiplying a sine m ax where m and n are what are even are we okay how do we integrate such function so example if we have integral of sine square x and cos square x we can see that both powers are what even how do we do the integration first questions like this we have to be fast about the trig identities Remember, this can be written as integral of sine x cos x all square dx. Are we okay? So this is with respect to dx. Sine x cos x all square. And from the trig identities, we have an identity where sine from the double angle sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x pay attention to this cos x are we good so we want sine x cos x therefore sine x cos x is equal to half sine 2x as an identity are we good so we can bring this to replace all that therefore this will be equal to integral of half sine 2x remember it is squared or square dx are we good if we are to use the square here that is going to be integral of 1 on 4 that's the square of 1 on 2 and this will be sine square 2x dx are we good and this is going to be 1 on 4 integral of sine square 2x dx so now we are at a place how do we also integrate this we have to also bring in another identity we know this identity sine square x is equal to half 1 minus cos 2x. Are we good? But when we look at this place, the angle is what? Double 2x, meaning sine square 2x is going to be half. 1 minus cos this angle is going to be what double 4x this way so in place of sine square 2x we can bring in half 1 minus cos 4x are we good so assuming this is sine square 3x we will have to multiply this by 3 making cos 6x are we good so my integration is now going to be 1 on 4 integral of half 1 minus cos 4x dx that is going to be the half will come out 1 4 multiplying 1 on 2 integral 1 minus cos 4x dx i'm getting 1 on 8 integral 1 minus cos 4x so i can now integrate this part which is going to be 1 on 8 when i integrate 1 with respect to dx i'm going to get x and integral of cos 4x that is going to give me 1 on 4 this will be sine 4x plus c so finally it is going to be 1 on 8 x minus i'm going to multiply through 1 on 32 
sine 4x plus c so this is the final solution for integral sine square x cos square x dx your ability to know this identity will help you this two identity will help you to make the substitution and you will move forward let's look at the second example how we are going to solve so example two let's see integral of cos square x pay attention here this example is quite interesting sine 4x dx we can see that the cos power is even the sine power is even how do we do this so this function is the same as integral of cos square x sine square x and another sine square x dx is that true yes this is equal to that i'm trying to expand so we we saw from the previous example that from the double angles from the double angles pay attention our sign 2x is going to be 2 sine x cos x this way therefore my sine x cos x was 1 on 2 sine 2x like this so we have that but looking at the question we have to get sine square cos square so can i square both sides yes so i can square both sides and i will square this side square so meaning we are just proving an identity sine square x cos square x is going to give us one on four sine square 2x this identity so in place of cos square x sine square x we can bring this are we good so meaning this is going to be equal to integral cos square x sine square x that will be one on four sine square two x is that true two x but remember we also have our sine square x here another sine square x dx so what do we do from this side we also have an identity for this sine square x but sine square x is also equal to half 1 minus cos 2x is that true yes so we can also replace this with that so i'm going to get integral of 1 on 4 sine square 2x and here 2 will be 1 minus cos 2x dx there we go so we have the terms expressed this way so we have to pay attention to your trig identities how to manipulate them when it is even the solution is quite interesting so from here we can take it from here and bring out this half and stuff so here this is half we have our half here are we good so let's see how best we can do it and that is going to be equal to so one fourth and half we can bring them out that is going to be one fourth multiplying half integral of integral of sine square 2x and 1 minus cos 2x so that is going to be sine square 2x multiplying 1 minus cos 2x dx what can we do here can we multiply through 
that will be 1 on 8 integral if I multiply through I'm going to get sine square 2x minus sine square 2x cos 2x dx and this can be expressed as 1 on 8 integral of sine square 2x minus 1 on 8 integral of sine square 2x multiplying cos 2x this is dx we have dx what do we do from here it's very interesting to do the calculation from this part we can get a double angle here and here too we can do some substitution so from the first part we can say that sine square x is equal to what do we know from sine square x half 1 minus cos 2x but here is sine 2x that means sine square 2x is going to be half 1 minus cos 4x for this part and from this part we can do substitution we've already tackled the situation like this where we have a square and one being in linear raised to the power one we can do substitution so i can bring it back in this form as one on eight integral for the first part that will be half one minus cos four x dx minus this part integral i'll let my u be equal to sine so here this part i can say let u be equal to what sine 2x where the u dx will be equal to what cos 2 cos 2x and if i make dx the subject meaning here that will be 1 on 8 u square because x our u is sine 2x so i have u square multiplying my cos 2x and from this place dx is going to be du on 2 cos 2x meaning the 2x can take care of this 2x and i'm going to get if half is coming out i'm getting 1 on 16 integral of 1 minus cos 4x dx and this part will be negative 1 on 8 integral of this half is also there 1 on 2 multiplying u square du are we okay so we can do something about that let's start to integrate further so this is the equation we have 1 on 16 integral of 1 on 16 integral of 1 minus cos that's 1 minus cos 4x dx minus 1 on 8 half so 1 on 8 integral of half u we have u squared du that's u squared du so we can take it from here this is simply 1 on 16 integral of 1 that is going to be x and when you integrate this that is going to be 1 fourth sine 4x dx and this is going to be minus if this half is coming out that means 1 on 16 integral of u square multiplying another one third u cube plus a c 
end this can be further 1 on 16 x minus 1 on 16 by 4 that is 64 sine 4 x and this is going to be negative 1 on 48 u cube u cube plus c but what is our u from the previous slide we saw that our u was equal to what sine 2x so meaning this is going to be 1 on 16x minus 1 on 64 sine 4x minus 1 on 48 sine cube 2x plus c and this is the final answer for integral cos 2 or cos square x sine 4x which is quite interesting so with this you have to know your trig identities and how to go by thank you for watching this episode